A day to celebrate independence became a reminder of how fragile independence is right now in Ukraine. Hundreds lined the streets of Ukrainian village in Parma today to honor the country's fighting spirit now six months since the Russian invasion. Emma Henderson shows us how. Flags of blue and yellow dot the streets of Ukrainian village as hundreds gather for a parade. This year, independence means even more to the nation of Ukraine as it continues to fend off an invasion from Russia that has resulted in millions displaced and cities leveled. And we're all together today. We're all Ukrainians today. We're all talking about the importance to stand behind Ukraine. Senator Rob Portman leads 60 groups as the Grand Marshal because of his work with the Congressional Ukraine Caucus and providing humanitarian aid. Also there, Congressman Tim Ryan and Governor Mike DeWine. The United States is absolutely obligated to do in the Ukraine, and we need to continue to support the warriors on the ground there with as much technology, weapons, support, aid as we possibly can muster. I want to be here. I know congressmen are here, senators are here. Um, it just says, look, we, we support Ukraine, and what Putin is doing is just an atrocity. And as people old, young, Ukrainian, American stood by each other today to commemorate their freedom, Senator Rob Portman, who's wrapping up his final term in office, couldn't help but get a little emotional. It's an honor. Now, I've been to Ukraine. Seven, eight times. Be back there soon. And uh, a lot of Ukrainian friends. Today I met a woman, um, Tamara, whose son is in the Ukrainian army. She's from Ukraine. And uh, I asked where he was, and she said he's on his way to Kherson. That's the city in southern Ukraine that they're trying to take back. I've had the opportunity to speak with numerous families and refugees of the war over the past few months, and they have all called for that continued aid and weapons support that we heard Ohio congressmen and the governor calling for today, Lena. All right, that rare moment of emotion from Senator Portman. Thanks so much, Emma.